Hello everyone, I'm Kirby and today um, I'm gonna take you guys out with me while I talk about what I learned from module 1 up until module 3 and which is about um, taking charge of oneself. Let's go! So guys, did you know that there are three subcategories of self? Um, yung tatlo ay yung uh, material, social, and spiritual self. So, ano ba, ano ba tong material self? Um, yung material self is composed by our, or should I say, my clothes, my body, my family, and home. And for, an example for, for that is um, the way I dress myself. Like, because my style is, I wear polo shirts and trousers or pants. And then, kapag gusto ko yung casual lang, t-shirt, tsaka shorts, and flip-flops. Another example naman ng material self is yung body type ko. Ako ay lean. Hindi ako masyadong, hindi ako mataba. Hindi rin payat. Normal lang. Okay, so the next for the sub subcategories of self is the social self this is how i interact with um other people and kung paano ako magsasalita in public so sometimes no not sometimes uh, mostly kapag kilala ko na yung kasama ko so guys alam naman natin no kapag comfortable na tayo sa kasama natin so the way we speak parang parang wala na tayong pakiy di ba tapos kapag ano naman hindi ko masyadong kilala yung kasama ko yan dyan na mag iba na yung ano ko parang sarili ko hindi na ako masyadong comfortable magsalita kasi you know parang careful tayo sa mga words natin na pinagsasalita okay and the last one for um, the sub subcategories of self is yung spiritual self ito yung in intimate self natin yung personality, character, and defining values. <coughs> I believe na there is a higher power sa atin lahat. Um, of course, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. Because alam naman natin na lahat, mostly dito sa country natin are Catholics or Christians. Okay, so now we have the conception of self. We have the perceived we have the uh, real and ideal. So the first one is the perceived self. This is how the person sees himself or herself or uh, and kung paano makikita ng iba yung sarili mo. So the second one is the real self. Ito yung kung sino ka talaga. And the last one is ideal self. Ito yung kung Ano talaga yung gusto mo para sa sarili mo? How, how you wanna be? Okay guys, so for the most exciting and my favorite part sa natutunan ko sa module 1 is yung Eastern Thought and Western Thought. So quick explanation, yung is Eastern Thought is more on the A Asian culture uh, and attitudes and values. While the Western thought naman is more on the uh, US side na mga values and attitudes. So, I listed down quite a few thoughts for myself um, for, uh, for Eastern thought and Western thoughts. So, unahin natin yung mga nalista ko na um, Eastern thoughts. So, first is family should eat together in the dining table. <coughs> So, alam naman natin na uh, um, yung mga Filipinos, uh, um, parang culture na natin yun na uh, we should eat together as a family. And the next is, when I'm out with a friend, I feel responsible treating her or him with whatever is available, especially if I'm the one who invited her or him out. <coughs> so, ito talaga yung um, parang uh, attitude ko kapag in-invite ko yung friend ko na mag 
maggala kami, gumala kami or kakain sa labas kasi parang nakakahiya na ikaw yung nag-invite tapos hindi mo sila i- hindi mo siya ililibre parang ganun and the third one is we should take care of our family members most especially the elderly alam naman natin na parang um, culture talaga yan dito sa um, Philippines na we should take care of our elderly or our maka, mga magulang natin next is as long as we are capable of helping we should help other people who are in need even if it's not your family and the last is family will always be family so very self explanatory dito naman tayo sa western thought na mga na list down ko for myself so first is that we should not treat children as investments so I truly believe na we should not milk money from our or your children mostly kasi parang ginagawa nila ng retirement plan yung ano mga anak nila na pagkatapos mo graduate doon sila hihingin ng pera so we should not do that kasi that's the problem kung bakit parang nagsa-struggle yung mga Filipinos lalo na yung mga freshly graduated na mga ano Filipinos next is in order to help our family members who is in need of any financial help i believe that we should first be financially successful as an individual so alangan naman third is we should hustle hard so we can provide for ourselves and not always ask money from our parents fourth the youth have the rights to learn about sex education because it's normal and ignorance of basic health is dangerous and the last one for uh Western thought that I listed down is disrespect should not be toler- tolerated even if it's from the elders. Okay guys, so our next topic here is the digital self. Of course, we have online identity, um, the internet um, boon or bane, and the online etiquettes, do's and don'ts. We're gonna start off with the online identity of course self explanatory naman na kapag online identity we can be whoever we want to be kapag when it comes to online identity na kasi the real world and the online world is magkaiba talaga kasi yun nga we can be whoever we want to be sa um internet because it gives a lot of possibilities and the next one is we have boon uh the in- the internet boon or bane um uh we have ano we have pros and cons sa sa internet um the internet can give a lot of opportunities pero ayun nga may cons so the internet if not used properly then it can give uh it can harm people yun Alright guys, so the last part of the, the digital self is we have the online etiquettes. So what is that? We have the do's and don'ts for the internet. If we have real life do's and don'ts, we have online do, do's and don'ts then. Of course guys, for the don'ts, an example for that is that we should not cyber bully. Of course, di tayo magipag through online because um, that's, uh, that's, that is punishable by law. And for the do's, uh, an example for that is that we can share a lot of positive thing, positive things through uh, our internet, of course. Okay, that's that's about it for digital self. Okay, guys. So the next topic that we are going to talk about or tackle about is um, learning how to become a better student, um, which of course helped me through my uh through my studies so here are the tips that we need to uh do to become a better student so the first thing we need to do is you know prepare before we log in we need to eat our breakfast so we so para activate yung brain natin because alam naman natin na the most important meal of the day is breakfast and we need to 
go to the comfort room to you know potty 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 kasi kapag nasa online class na tayo di, di na natin ma ano yung mga topics kapag ma distract tayo so the next thing we need to do is we need to use different resources so commonly uh, what we commonly use is google of course we students use google so of course we need to explore more so we can use different resources an example for different resources is killbot uh, grammarly and other stuff like that that can help us uh, make our you know work easier because as we all know we are all loaded next is to be critical and make learning um, personal because who doesn't want to you know um, be critical on their studies next is uh, ask help of course we need to seek help from other people if we are um, doing our studies such as uh, our classmates or group mates or you know other people that that you know that can help you get through your uh, get your work done okay. the last one is um, do other stuff like or do other things such as joining clubs or organizations that can help you expand your uh, connections your experiences i also learned that there are two kinds of mindset um, the fixed mindset and the uh, growth mindset so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the uh, fixed mindset people who have this mindset tend to believe that success is in it or an inborn ability and the other kind of mindset is the uh, growth mindset People who have this mindset tend to believe that uh, training and um, an effort to learn can change one's quality. I also learned that stress can be anything that can be uh, that can disturbs one's sense balance. Um, I can relate to this because uh, every time I get stressed, I can easily get uh, distracted. I can easily get irritated, so I cannot do my. Uh, my uh my specific work because i tend to get distracted stress can also be uh emotional behavioral physical and mental there are also two kinds of stressors which is the internal and external the first one is internal it comes within um the individual or the mindsets the beliefs the behavior and etc and the next one is external these are the things that we cannot control or it's not in our control one thing i also learned is that um the body responds uh to stress through alarm reaction uh stage of resistance and stage of exhaustion for alarm reaction we have the body mobilizes its resources to cope up and the other one stage of resistance bodily adjustments to stabilize stress and the last one for the for this uh, part is that stage of exhaustion the body's resources are drained and stress hormones are depleted the last thing I want to talk about or that I learned about is stress resilience and that's about it guys thank you for listening and thank you for watching i hope you all uh had a great day and stay positive as always thank you and goodbye peace